everyone, uh, this is Dr. Marrero from Math Topics, and this is the first video of the new series SAT preparation. What is the SAT? It's a test that have different subtests. They have the English subtest, the reading subtest, and the mathematics subtest. I will be creating videos to prepare students or to refresh uh, memories about the SAT test or the people that wants to learn or wants to practice testing questions. And I'm going to target the mathematic test that is composed by two subtests. One subtest is without using any calculator and the second part allows the students to use the calculators. This is just serious about how can we succeed in a, such a big test. And sometimes it's not so difficult, but it's about training. And right here, you can see in the screen the different components of the SAT math test. We have the no calculator here. We have the, 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 the portion of the test with calculators and the different domains of this test. The heart of algebra, problem solving and data analysis, passport to advanced math and additional topics in math. So the idea of this series is to go over those domains and at the same time doing practice questions. I'm gonna start with the no calculator practice questions first. And, and I took these questions from the website, the official website for the SAT test. I'm gonna leave the link in the description for you to go. You can create an account in College Board and you, can, you will have access to those uh, tests. They give you the answer sheets and they give you the answer key. So in the description, you can click and, and you can go over the website. If you are one of students that is getting ready for the SAT test, this is the series that you're going to follow. And if you are uh, an adult that you're not going to take the SAT, okay, just have fun looking at those interesting questions that cover the the main mathematic topics in high school mathematics and even in uh, middle school mathematics. So let's go over uh, the practice questions. You can use these questions as a diagnostic test. Uh, remember, this is the first video of the series. It's kind of an introduction. I'm going to be doing uh, a couple of questions uh, from the test that I took from the college board.org, description below. And I'm going to start answering those questions. After we finish the no calculator portion of the test, we can start working on the different domains that I talked earlier. Look at the first question. It's a multiple choice question. In this series, you're not going to learn only mathematics or skills. You're going to learn also test taking strategies. If you are facing a test, and in a portion of the test without using calculators. Your mindset is to target what really, really you know. And then you have the multiple choices there. That is the second part of your analysis. The first part is to read the question carefully. So you have here <clears throat> the following question. If, and they give us an equation. Okay, this is important. This is an equation. This is what I call constantly in all my videos, the knowledge of the structure. So we're working with equations. X minus one over three equals K. And they also give us the value for the variable K, which is three. And they said, find the value of X. So it's, it's super simple, but if you are under the stress of taking a test and timing and uh, it's difficult to understand that you can rewrite this, and this is one test taking strategy in mathematics. Let me, how can I rewrite this in a simpler way? Because if you look at the expression, you have two unknown first view, 
But really, really, you don't have two or no. You only have one or no, which is X. Because K is given. But this happens in seconds or fractions of seconds, of a second. So first taking strategy is try to <clears throat> see the question from a different view. Like this. X minus 1 over 3 equals 3 since k is equal to 3. Now this is a, is a simple equation with only one variable. That you know that in order to answer this, we need to isolate the x by canceling the other numbers with the inverse operations. So I multiply by 3 because the first inconvenient number here is the, is the, is the number 3 that is dividing and the inverse is multiplication. But whatever is done in one side must be done in the other side. So you can cancel the 3 here and you get x minus 1 equals 9. Okay, it's very simple now because a number minus 1 equals 9 is just 10. You don't even have to look at the multiple choices right now. You continue working with the procedure here, which is canceling the negative 1 by doing the opposite, which is plus 1. Cancel negative 1 plus 1 that makes that 0 and x is equal 10. This is the answer of the first question of the famous SAT no calculator portion. So, summary about this. Try to rewrite the question in a way that is simpler. Really important. So let's go over the second question that I have here. Operation with complex numbers. Remember what I said earlier. The SAT has different domains, but the first videos of this series is about solving testing problems. And then we are going to make videos about the different domains. Right here, we have kind of more complicated question because include complex numbers. And this is done in Algebra 2 in your high school curriculum most of the time. So <clears throat> important information. I is equal to the square root of negative 1. I want to start talking here about complex numbers that we're doing in, in different videos. But keep that in mind. I is equal to the square root of a negative 1. And right here, what we have is an expression that contains that I. But basically, what we have to pay attention is test taking a strategy is that what is this structure? It's just addition. So we are adding basically two numbers because in complex numbers, we can write the complex numbers as a combination of a real number and an imaginary number. And we have two complex numbers and you're adding those complex numbers. What is the way we add numbers or we combine expressions by using like terms? So basically the here is seven plus negative eight, which is equal negative one. I'm done with the numbers. And then let me work with the other expression, three i plus nine i. So three i plus nine i is equal like a three x's plus nine x's or three pencils plus nine pencils. This is equal to all pencils. The pencil here is the letter i. So basically the answer here is negative one plus 12 i. And this is the, the answer. Negative 1 plus 12i. Negative 1 plus 12i. And now is when I look at the multiple choices. So look at the way I did the, this first two questions. It's test taking a strategy number one. Let me rewrite this in a different way that is simpler for me. Second, let's analyze the structure. I'm working with equations in the first question. I'm working here with addition of numbers, but written with a letter i. I don't even need to know what is i, but it's the square root of negative 1. And if you're taking the SAT test, you know that from algebra 2. But it's okay. How can we add and subtract in math? But we add and subtract using like terms. So let's start adding like terms. 7 minus 8 is just negative 1. And 3i, that can be 3x, plus 9x is equal 11x. But in this case, the x is i. So 3 plus 9, sorry, is 12 x uh, 3i plus 9i is 12i. Combine the two. So negative 1 plus 12i, and you have the first question there, or the first answer, you say.
I want to finish the first video of the SAT preparation course series now. Our next video will be that question that you see here. It's about translating words into algebraic expressions, the very first topic in Algebra 1. If you are interested and see in particular this topic, I have a video, recently a video about introduction to Algebra 1. And it's about the terminology, the use of letters, variables, uh, constants, coefficients. So I invite you to go to my channel and explore that. So in the next video, we're going to start with this question and we're going to do more questions, probably two or three questions, depending on the length of the video, because I don't want to extend the video too much. So right now we have the first two questions from the no calculator portion remember that you can access in the description the link to collegeboard.org and you have access to this uh, testing practice questions so, so you can go along with me or you can start working on them and then when i pause the video you can see uh, the explanation so i hope that you like the video, subscribe, share this with many, many students in 11th grade, 10th grade math, in high school, around the world, or especially here in America, that are getting ready to take the, the SAT test. Thank you for watching, and I see you in the next video, solving SAT practice questions from the non-calculator portion. Thank you.